right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you one of the ways of many to uninstall some unnecessary software on the on a Raspberry Pi image. Now, as you can see, this is a pre-built, I guess you could say, image for the Bitcoin full node. But it doesn't really matter uh, which one it is. But uh, there's a lot of obviously unnecessary software that we don't need, like the Bluetooth, we don't need the VLC player, the OMX player, and so forth. So what we can do is do a dpackage dash dash list, and that's going to show us all of the software. So if we just hit the space bar here, and scroll down to the bottom then we can slowly work our way back up and we can go through what we really don't need so if we see here we got all this VLC we don't need a player so what we can do is we can just have another terminal open here and uh, we could just purge all this stuff. So we could just do VLC. And other than uninstalling each one, we could just add the particular little star there. And that's going to remove everything that begins with VLC. So we can just let that do its thing. And as you can see, it's removing all that stuff. So, while that's doing that, we can go through and pick out some other things that you may not need. And this sort of is nice to do, especially depending on what you plan on doing with the Pi, because of uh, not only taking up room, but it makes updates and upgrades a little bit faster because we don't need to worry about uninstalling all this, upgrading all this stuff, I meant to say. So, next thing we can do is get rid of the, of the uh, blues because I'm not going to be using the uh, Bluetooth, we'll say. And like the browser, for the Chrome browser, we could basically get rid of that also. Because there's really no need to uh, have that installed. So this is one way that you can go through and uninstall things that is unnecessary. So... Another thing is the I2C tools. We don't uh, need that. We're not going to be hooking anything up to the uh, GPIO pins or anything. So we can get rid of that. So it definitely will help the uh, update and upgrade installation to go a little bit faster. So once you get done uninstalling what you feel like you don't need, we can do an auto remove as you can see here. It'll uninstall all these packages here. And it'll free up another 10.5 meg. Then we can do a, a, a clean to uh, flush all that stuff out. So we can do do the following there. And if there's anything else, we can uh, go through and uninstall. So you get the point. Now see, it's still showing the VLC because I didn't rerun the commands. We'll just do a control C and we'll uh, run this again. So as you can see VLC is no longer there. 
And like wiring pie would be another one that you can get rid of because for my use, you don't need it. So we can just uninstall that. So it definitely does help with the update and the upgrade and all that. And also make some room on your uh, SD card if needed. So anyway, hopefully this helps out. And uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another one.